Welcome back to another episode of CCTV. We hope to be filming in our new studio after Christmas break. This is our last episode of the semester and we have lots of exciting things to talk to you guys about. As we get started into the month of December, let's wish our December birthday girls a happy birthday. Destiny Martinez, Jocelyn Martinez, Chelsea Lee, Nina Menzogopian, Alondra Sosa, Emily Arndt, Aya Mohammed, and Rita Chen. Happy, happy birthday! birthday! Well, first of all, let's start off and see how our Koala families are dealing with the end of a semester. All right, ladies, I'm here with some of my senior friends, and I just wanted to know what you guys think of how this semester has been going. Well, so for me, this semester has been pretty stressful because, you know, we are seniors. But luckily, I finished all my applications for college, so it's getting better. So for me, it's, yeah, it's also, and I just turned my uh, use application, like, the I think last week and I have three more essays need to write <laughs> so I'm gonna keep going to work on them what about you guys? I'm not stressed out <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm good, good. I'm good. glad <laughs> we're good um, like for me this is a new school like it's, everything is brand new for me uh, I'm really excited to meet I don't know, because I already met all you guys. But I'm excited for next year, next semester, and for the college. Uh, but I would say I'm not ready yet, but, but I'm, I'm pretty excited to get into college. Uh, I think I'm prepared well right now. Yeah. So there you have it. That's how our seniors are feeling. My first semester at Connolly went really well. It was um, much better than I expected. I was nervous. I didn't know if um, you know I would fit in at a different type of school, something smaller, but I love it. I love the community feel. I love the students. The faculty and staff have made me feel so welcome. It's a lot of work, um, but work that I enjoy. And I really am very, very blessed to have found such a hidden gem here in Anaheim, California. Time really does fly when you're having fun. I know. We also have an exciting segment of hidden talents all around campus. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, Ani East here. Right now we're going to go find some people that have some really cool hidden talents. Hi, my name is Rachel and I can flip my eyelids. Hi, my name is Faye and I have double jointed shoulders. and I'm gonna do an aerial for you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Gabriela Mercado and I have double jointed elbows. Hi, I'm Mrs. Wagner. I guess you all know that. Anyway, they asked me about a hidden talent and so my hidden talent is I play the oba. Um, I don't know that it's all that hidden. Some people know. But I'm gonna play a little song for you called Gabriel's Oboe and it's from the movie The Mission. Okay, so our school has everywhere from contortionists to oboe players. Congratulations, Connie. <laughs> we also have a quick sports update from our very own soccer team who went to Catalina Island this week. I had so much fun on that game. I mean, it was one of the best games I think we've ever played as a team. So let's check out the video. Hey ladies, I'm here <laughs> with some of my teammates and we're gonna be doing a little vlog for our Catalina Island trip. We just boarded the boat. Things are going smoothly. Picking up speed! Be nice to live together in the kind of world where we I'm here with a wild student found in her natural habitat, studying. <laughs> Ladies, we're back up here making that treacherous hike. We still have a long way to go, so this is a challenge that we are willing to face. <laughs> so we are here reporting live from Catalina Island where our team just got the dub. <laughs> it's really cold. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Sound a little bit like a man, but that's okay because we got that dub. <laughs> you already know we got that dub. <laughs> Nothing can stop. 
stop me, I'm all the way up. That trip seemed like so much fun, and you guys won, right? Yep, 3-2. Now, on a less exciting note, finals are only a couple weeks away. Let's see how students are preparing. Hey ladies, so review and finals week are quickly approaching, and our girls are definitely feeling it. Let's see how they're handling it. So I'm here with Myra Juma and Savannah Kerwitz. They're both seniors, and it's their second to last final. So how are you guys handling studying for it? Not well. Not well. Can you elaborate? Um, I don't know how to study. So I'm here with Morelia Gallardo, class of 2022. Um, how are you feeling your first finals and review week? Feeling very stressed out, so overwhelmed. Have a lot of studying to do with, and have to like do it with sports and everything else that you're in. And so it's just a bunch of time consuming. Just to prove to show what Morelia said about studying and sports, we have our very own Daisy Ibarra, class of 20, going to a soccer game. And she's literally doing her homework on this boat. Can we get a close up of that? Daisy. Oh, wow. How do you balance sports and finals and review week and all the tests you have? As long as you don't procrastinate, you'll be fine. Alright, you heard it here ladies. Don't procrastinate from Daisy Ibarra. The Revolt of the Turtles by Stephen Dunn. On grave forgetful mornings like this, sea turtles would gather in the shallow waters of the Gulf to discuss issues of self-presentation and related concerns like, if there was a god, would he have a hard shell and a retractable head? And whether speed on land was of any importance to a good swimmer? They knew that tourists needed to placate their children with catchy stories and amuse themselves with various cruelties, such as turning turtles over on their backs and watching their legs wriggle. So the turtles formed a committee to address how to live among people who, among other atrocities, want to turn you into soup. The committee was also charged with wondering if God would mind a retelling of their lives, one in which sea turtles were responsible for all things, right-minded and progressive, and men and women for poisoning the water. The oldest sea turtle among them knew that whoever was in control of the stories controlled all the shoulds and should nots. But he wasn't interested in punishment, only ways in which power could bring about fairness and decency. And when he finished speaking in the now memorable and ever deepening waters of the Gulf, all the sea turtles began to chant, only fairness, only decency. But don't forget the theme for this month is love of learning. So keep studying ladies. Hi koalas, this month's goal is to have a growth mindset. This year, I'm using my growth mindset to get better at math, because if you tell yourself you can, then you will. Hi, I'm Alejandra Hutchison, and I wanted to talk about this toy drive called the Posada Toy Drive that my first grade teacher started. She works at a school in the most impoverished area in Riverside and I was hoping to reach out to Connolly to donate small gifts uh, for girls and boys between the grades first to fourth grade. Hi Connolly again. Um, this is your last opportunity to have a lasting impact on children um, in Bangladesh, uh, Rohingya refugees. I'll be leaving in exactly a week. And thank you so much to everyone who has already donated kites and books and stationery. We're still looking for letters, drawings, um, crayons, anything that's small and meaningful. Um, thank you so much and you'll definitely see your impact. And also, let's check out this week's mock trial video to see how the team prepared for their trial on Tuesday. Hi guys, I'm Myra, your guest reporter for today. And we're on our way to our final rounds for mock trial. So. I'm the defendant, and um, I wish myself luck. She's guilty. No, I am not. Guilty. Have a great day, ladies. Koala Nation. Hello, koalas. I am back. Myra Gemma, your guest reporter. We brought our guest, Leanne Peralta, and we have Cindy Wang. And then we have Nina, we have Taryn Channing. We're all hyped up for our competition. Let's hope we make it through this death round. Hey, Woo! it'll be better than that. Here, I'm here with Miss Morris, our teacher coach. So Miss Morris, how are you feeling about this death round? 
about this what death run? Um, it's sudden death. Um, it's uh, I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited to see how our girls perform. Uh, this is going to be a good match. The uh, university always puts together an excellent team. So either way, we're going to be challenged, which is exciting. Um, and. Uh, I'm excited to see our girls play our best. Excellence versus excellence tonight. You heard it here. I'm a star. Hello, guys. I'm back again with Miss Wood, my mother, and Miss Pam. So, guys, what are we feeling about this competition? We are so excited. We're so confident in the girls' abilities because we know how awesome they are. We know that they've worked so hard and they're so good. It's a tough match, but I really believe in the koalas. Go koalas! <laughs>